right, how I done it was, I'll, sh I'll go through the steps here. Host here. All we've done is a pressed add new. Mac address. In here, I just named it so I didn't get confused with like the couple that I've got set up. And the Mac address, I just went into my settings on my Amazon Firebox and got the Mac address from there. Press save. And then target in here. I did try the other domain, the one, um, all downloads I think it was or something. That one blocks some of the content off your Fire TV box, so don't don't even bother using that one. You can try it. I'd, I'd put it in there first and to, because you'll know that it's definitely working when you've pressed save, because all your content will go off your box, like all the Amazon movies and stuff like that. Just tr put it in there to try it, to, so you know it's definitely set up and working. But in there, mode domain name, just named it again so I didn't get confused. And for the domain name, I'll just put softwareupdates.amazon.com. Schedule in here, I named it again so I didn't get confused. I set it to block every day, all day, 24 hours, press save, and that's it. That's all you have to do for that bit. Now, when you're actually setting up, you want to go to your setup wizard. No, you don't. You want to go to add new, and you get all your presets here. You can, I set it up, one for my Wi-Fi. And one for my Ethernet, just so I know that it's definitely going to get blocked on both. Target, there's what I named it, so I didn't get, so I could find it. And the same again there. When you've done that, just press save, and it'll bring you back here, and you'll see from here that it's enabled one and two, and that's all. That's all you have to do.